last time I said we found the shrine, I lied. And this is my punishment. Watermelon. Ah! That's right. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we have found that shrine. And I'm going to show you how to get it. But first... We need 10 wins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now we're done. The next step is actually quite simple. If you take a look at the big screen up on the wall over there, you will see a code. Error 404. Take this code, come to settings, and type it in in the Twitter code selection right here. And here we go. Redeemed code. Once you've done that, guys, you need to head up into this room up here using some pretty impressive jumping abilities. And you will need to come to the suit shop where you will need to buy all three of the RB suit skins. Meaning you need to buy Sabrina's for 1,000 coins, DJ's for 1,000 coins, and also Mr. Russo Talks for 1,000 coins thousand coins once you've bought all three of the swords you need to equip your dj monopoly a skin like this and once you've done that come to your inventory and come to gears and equip yourself the beautiful dj sword just like this once you're looking incredibly handsome guys you need to head to the lobby obby because now it is time to show off your parkour abilities by completing an incredibly hard parkour that's right so acrobatics will be disabled for this so it might take you a while especially if people try to troll you but once you have completed this uh well you're gonna see something in a second that you're going to need to do as you see i just got the lobby obby award we come in here just to get a quick snap of ourselves one second <clears throat> Perfect! Now we've got the beautiful photo. It's time for us to head through here. That's right, just around the corner. And you will see this weird secret computer room. Now what you need to do is take your sword out and equip the orb with your sword. And which this weird animation will happen. As you guys can see, we are charging up. DJ Monopoly sword. Okay, so once you got yourself your RB battle sword beautifully charged up like that, what you need to do is change your skin, ladies and gentlemen, by coming to the inventory uh, selection right there. Come over to your skins and equip the Sabrina skin just like this. Okay, so now that we've done that, come back to the RB Battles Championship main arena and head through the do not enter door in the corner of the room. Once you're here, you're going to want to head outside to where you will find a big fan. That's right. Uh, not this kind of fan. I'm talking about this. The big, big fan, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, guys. You're going to want to head through these fans, but don't touch the blades because they will reset your character. Now you need to do this parkour as well, which is, um... It's a little bit harder than the other one. Okay, so you want to come down here, guys. And you're going to find a secret parkour underground. That's right. We don't want to get caught by the spiky spikes. They will take us out and we will die. Once you make it round here, you're going to want to climb up this thing right here just like that. Okay, now it's time for a shortcut. Literally just jump up here like this. And what you're going to want to do is head around over to here. Because this is the next place we need to go. Just like this. Okay, then just jump through here like this. And now, as you can see, just down here, we are in a secret part of the game. Head around the corner. And as you can see, it is time to charge Sabrina's sword. So let's equip Sabrina's sword by coming to gears and equipping it like that. Hold the sword and it will now do the same animation as before. But this time, we are charging Sabrina's sword instead of DJ Monopolies. Right, now you're going to want to head back up to where you saw the secret door earlier, which is literally just around the corner over here as Pup is literally showing us. And you need to type this code quick because if you don't type it quick enough, then unfortunately it's not going to work. So the first part is 76323, then 495, just like that, and press the star. And as you can see, the door is open. We now have the control room unlocked, which means all we have to do is pull this giant lever in side of this room that's right just like this ladies and gentlemen now with the lever pulled here's the annoying part we need to redo both parkours once you've done the parkour head back to the control room you were in just a second ago and you need to flip all of these switches just like this until uh, all of the led lights are green that's right so let's just flip every single one of these like this there we go just like that and as you can see now the elevator has one green light now we need to go back and do dj's as well so uh, i'll meet you back there whoop <laughs> that's right gotta flip the switches guys flip all the switches 
just like that. Now you're gonna get another green button on the elevator and it means we can move on to the next part of this tutorial. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the blue man himself Mr. Russo comes in handy. That's right, I'm Russo. Just, Russo. just doing things Russo does. So now what you're gonna wanna do is head into the elevator, just like Sabrina and I are. And now once inside, push the button, beep, and you will head upstairs to the host room. Now what you're gonna wanna do is use your incredible tracking abilities to find a secret green star underneath one of these chairs at the back of the room and it's kind of hard to see but it's literally right there just give that a click and as you will see that will trigger another animation now what we're gonna want to do is literally do the same thing we did before let's charge up our sword ladies and gentlemen so come to your inventory come to gear and equip yourself the sword of truth and then just you know touch it just like this see magic now as you guys can see we have currently got three charged swords that uh i don't think i was supposed to equip now you're gonna want to flip these switches like we've done in every single one of these so far and if you do that you will have completed this part of this tutorial. Okay, once you flipped your switches, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just say goodbye to these guys. Bye, guys! And you're gonna wanna head back down in the elevator. Now, this is the part where things get interesting because, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna head down right now outside to that beautiful ship. That's right. Now, this is where things get interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because we are about to head down outside to that beautiful ship from earlier we saw today. And now, it is open now. I just want to say something right now in my last video. I predicted this I said it was in this ship and you all disbelieved me. You said it was impossible Well now who looks crazy anyways this ladies and gentlemen is where you will find the sword shrine now We simply just need to put these swords in one by one and once we've done it Something crazy is going to happen. You won't believe your eyes. Oh, yeah Just one sword so far ladies and gentlemen and things already happening. That's right here sword number two <laughs> I am liking this. I am really really liking this. That's right now We just got the last sword to go in guys and that is it So let's uh, let's put the last one in just like this. I think I think I'm rushing ahead a little bit Oh, we got buttons coming on. Okay, pretty lame, but still what else have we got to happen? Wait, wait, is that it? Th that's it? You're done? Oh no, there's more that's not found, but nobody has ever been able to find it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and my name is not Mr. Cali Killamore. Just like how last time you disbelieved that I found where it was, I am going to be the first person to find it. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Bum ba da ba 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 ba